life, good spirits to you all out there in this divinely given moment in time. It's your girl, London Taj, and I am here today at AdFest with two very special guests. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Lowdown and Duddy, better known as Lowdown and Duddy. What's going on with y'all? How y'all doing today? I'm so happy to see y'all out the house, first of all, out here and around people, out at AdFest. And we just so happen to be right here at the flat. Right, right, right. For the people around the world that may see this interview, could you please let them know, where are you from? Athens, Georgia. Athens, Georgia. Born and raised. And you two are part of a group referred to as Lowdown and Dirty. Lowdown and Dirty was a group. Is it still a group? I guess so. Can't do, can't do like low down or dirty. You gotta do both of them. You gotta do both of them. Yeah. So, what were the beginning stages of low down? Like, how did that even come about? Because we know where we're at today. Low down and dirty has a commemoration plaque right here in Athens on the sidewalk downtown. So whenever you're here, you have to come check it out. But how did we even get to this point? Where did we start? Clark Middle. Middle school. What what inspired you to get together and just start actually writing rounds and putting it together? Part of a larger kind of like the thing. Everybody was their own separate artist. And then you know, uh, you know, you got some some people work more than other people. So when it's time to put out a project, it was mostly just us. So went that route. Did the larger group have a collective name, or uh, it was just a large group of individual artists? That, initially, it was the, the Notorious South, and then it was GA Mall. The Notorious South and the GA Mall. From the Notorious South and the GA Mob, we have Low Down and Dirty. So, what gave Low Down and Dirty the confidence during a time where rapping wasn't taken as seriously as a profession or as a just a we keeping it live, and that's real. You know, low down and dirty style, and we keep it real. You know, what, what gave low down and dirty the confidence to say, forget all that, and just write and do what you do? That wasn't a thing. We didn't know what was going to happen. Oh, okay, so it kind of happened organically. Yeah, 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 we didn't know that. I, I actually recorded the album, and then I left the school. So when the album came out, I wasn't even here. This was, this was never the so when you went in to record the album, you did not go in with the intentions of it taking off, you guys blowing up and becoming like a historical group, hip hop, a hip hop group in Athens. Not at all. It's a soundtrack for the city, right? Like, what we do, what we had been doing. We was already doing shows, so, but then we just go towards the south. So. Where are we at with it now? Like, when you come here and you see this plaque, and you also see what's going on. I noticed that there are a lot of write-ups about hip hop going on in the papers that I never used to see before. There are a lot of write-ups going on in magazines, local magazines that I never used to see before. Like, what are your thoughts on this? Because you guys had a big part in opening up doors for a lot of other artists that have come in behind you. And we're here. We have a whole flat downtown. Everybody can see. Everybody. I'm honored to be a part of that story. And, uh, and, uh, and well right now. Do you guys ever, um, well, I know you have heard this because a lot of artists have said this about you guys to me in other interviews that you guys are like the Athens version of UGK. Is that the first time you've heard that or have you guys heard it? Plenty of time. 
Well, that's what's up. I'm so glad that you guys took some time to just come out. I know you all are busy. You have a lot going on. But I definitely wanted to make sure that we had a chance to just talk, slow down and dirty real quick. Yeah, I it ain't no thing. Don't get caught slipping like Bill Woods and Rain. I'm gripping that grain. This GA Marvin on them things over the Georgia Plain. From Savannah to Massey Lane. Flashing classic things like ice rains and things that I can't name.